Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Rachel of Gathered Plans. I want to apologize in advance. I'm still sick, so I sound awful, so I am so, so sorry for that. However, I am feeling a lot better, so that is definitely a positive. I'm going to be doing a pre-plan in my Hobonichi weeks for the week of July 8th to July 14th, and this is going to be a special video because it is a collab with my girl Joe of Ice Cream Joe on YouTube and Ice Cream Joe Plans on Instagram. Be sure to check her out. I will have all of her information below. Send her my love, tell her I sent you, and just check her out. She is awesome and just so funny. I love her. However, we're going to go right into this pre-plan, and I just want to show you this beautiful, beautiful kit. It is from The Giving Girl. This was a $2 Tuesday she had. It is a Hobonichi sampler or something like that. It's a lot smaller than her regular Hobonichi sizes. Um, but it's just the perfect amount of things you need, and this is in rose gold, which is so beautiful. It's called Plush Peach, and you got some icons down here. Um, I think these are like four different washi strips. It's just hard to tell. Um, and then you have the full date strip. You have tons of bow, bow checklist. Um, these are some boxes, bigger ones, some extra. I think those are just individual bows. I don't know if you can see that. And then you have some bow flags up here, which are so cute, and an individual heart. I think that is a square. So it's very small, but it's perfect and beautiful. I love her foiling. It is just spe like spectacular. And since this is a smaller kit, I might be pulling in some washi. No guarantees. This is all from Simply Gilded. This is the 10 millimeter in all rose gold. This is the 10 and 15 millimeter. It's like the floral background with rose gold. It's so pretty. It's got like blues, purples, pinks. It's just gorgeous. And then this is the five millimeter light pink in rose gold as well. So these are the washies I may be pulling in. And as always, I'm going to be using my Muji pen. It is in 0.5. I am so sorry. I'm starting to sound even worse and worse throughout this entire um, intro. So without further ado, if you're interested in watching this pre plan, then just stay tuned. So Joe and I are going to answer this one question because Hobonichi plan with me's are really, really fast. So this one question is, who are some people that you look up to or that inspire you? And this is kind of hard <laughs> because I feel like there are so many individuals I can name hands down. Um, but I also don't want to give a cliche answer, you know? Um, but... I also feel like even if it's a cliche, it's also the truth. So the first person easily is my mom. Um, you guys might have heard this if you watched any of my previous Plan With Me's, but my mom has sacrificed so much to for me to have a better life and come to the United States. Um, I was born and raised in the Philippines and have moved around to different countries because I you know, grew up in a military family and um, my stepdad was in the Air Force. So... That was, you know, a challenge because um, when I was five, I finally got out of the Philippines. And I don't mean to say it in a negative manner, but we, you know, we were in a very poor environment and we weren't one of the well-off ones in the Philippines at all. My family is still very, very poor over there. So when I was about four, my mom actually left the Philippines to get a job in South Korea. And if you guys are familiar... Um, there are overseas workers, which um, a lot of Filipinos, that's actually what they do to find work and to provide for their families back in the Philippines, which is kind of sad because um, if there's documentaries on it about um, Filipino overseas workers and they're, sa they're lonely. You know, they have to kind of sacrifice being alone in different countries to be around um, and, and be around people they don't know or even in a country that they don't speak their language. So. Um, my mom had to do that, and that's actually where she, where she met my stepdad, um, who was stationed in South Korea at the time. So when I say she sacrificed so much, she left me with my grandma, my Lola, for um, about two, a year and a half, I think, to go find work. And, you know, if you're a mom, I'm not a mother, but, you know, I can only relate with being away from family. I'm I'm very much a family person and I get homesick so easily. So if you're a mom, you know, please comment below and let me know if you can just agree that it's just the hardest thing to leave your child. Um, so 
my mom left me for a year and a half. And flying back to South Korea and the Philippines, the airline tickets are not cheap. And um, even though they're closer in proximity, it's still it's still pricey. Um, and she was working. So she was overseas working, and that's where she met my stepdad, who um, then they both got married and then picked me up, and we basically just traveled. And that was my life. So that was the sacrifice my mom made. And I look up to her so much because even to this day, she makes sacrifices. And I feel like um, your, you know, whether or not it's your dad or your mom or both, um, they're constantly making sacrifices for you. So I kind of feel bad for being like a, a bad kid growing up. You know how like any child kind of rebels or has attitudes like that's just natural. It's going to happen. Um, but, you know, I'm so happy that when I became an adult, I start to appreciate my mom a lot more and recognize these sacrifices and stuff that she's had to make because when you're a teenager and a child, you don't know those things. Um, so hands down, it's my mom. She is the most amazing, hardworking person I've ever met. Um, she still to this day is, you know, her work ethic is tremendous. I have no words for it. Um, I owe so much to her. Um, but yeah, and I think everyone pretty much has like the same story if they, you know, had their parents in their life. Um, I would hope so because I, you know, I would, I don't know how I would be if I didn't have at least one parent figure to show me the way. Um, my stepdad was traveling for work all the time because he was always deployed. So um, it was a little bit different. But um, with the second person that I would look up to or or I'm inspired by, honestly, is Ellen DeGeneres. So I'm trying to find someone else that isn't like a cliche in the family. Um, but Ellen is just such a kind-hearted person. And anytime I watch her show, she just brings so much happiness and joy. Um, and she's just so genuine, you know, like, I don't know. I mean, I know I don't know her on a personal level, but she is just so genuine. And I just feel like everyone loves Ellen DeGeneres. Like, honestly, um, I have yet to meet someone that can't stand her. <laughs> like, I just, I just have yet to meet anyone. But um, she just stands for a lot. And I think she is just such a positive influence in the world. Um, and she's touched so many people. And I just, I genuinely, I genuinely wish like I could meet her because she is just such an amazing person. So that's someone else that I look up to. She's come a long way. If you've watched her documentary or just followed her around, you know that she, you know, started off, you know, doing comedy and acting and stuff. And she wasn't accepted because she is a lesbian and just all of that stuff. Like she has come so far. And look, you know, you can get knocked down, but she is proof that she got right back up and she is rich AF and she is famous AF, <laughs> like literally the biggest slap in the face to all those people that didn't accept her and literally amazing. So that's like my second person. The third person I would look up to, um, it's kind of hard because I feel like, you know, it's just so easy to just name family um, because that's usually people's like first instinct or at least for me. Um, but the third person that I wouldn't really um, look up to, but someone that inspires me to do well is my little sister. We're 11 years apart and she is just like my life and joy. Like she is just amazing. I truly feel like she has been the glue to our family. Um, blended families, if you know where I'm coming from, it's kind of hard. So she is like the light to our family and I love her. She is just amazing. Super smart kid too. So she's going to go places. Um, I just hope she remembers me. <laughs> when you go to NASA, you better remember me. But um, no, she's, she's cool and I love her. So those are my answers and I hope you guys got something from that, learned a little bit more about me and um, can agree or disagree. I don't know. <laughs> but you know, put comment below your um, stories or people that inspire you or that you look up to. I would love to know your answers. Um, I also like to know who my followers are too. I just think it's really cool to kind of get to know you guys and I feel like we're, we, ha we all have a lot more in common than we realize. So that's really neat. So I do appreciate that. All right, guys, so this is what it looks like, and here are the leftover stickers. I have some bows, hearts, an extra heart, um, one extra washi strip here, and some icons at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm not sure if this was intentional that everything can come off of the sheet. Um, I struggled a lot because these little pieces that um, 
the bow checklists were attached to were peeling off as well. So I was having a really hard time picking those off with my tweezers. I don't know if that's just intentional or a cutting thing. I don't know. I, I don't make stickers, so I wouldn't know. Um, it was a little bit annoying and tedious to get it off of the bows, though, like the bow checklist. So that was a, um, an issue with that. But the one great thing, positive thing, is that the other pieces were actual washi strips, which is cool because, like, like I don't know if this is supposed to be a washi strip. You know what I mean? I don't know if the whole thing is supposed to come off. Um, but, I mean, I totally made it work for me. I used it as a border. And um, I just don't know if that was intentional. But I hope, I wish it didn't happen here because it was really, like I said, tedious getting the extra strips off of the bows. Um, but besides the point, I have some left over for this being a pretty small Hobonichi kit. It's a sampler. It turned out really well. And this column here, I just extend this side off to the right side so I can mark like important big things going on that day. And then I still have plenty of space to do like checklist things and important things to go on. Um, I'm using this section down here to mark filming. And then this section like I've been doing for the past like two, three weeks to mark working out. I just love that this is like... Um, it can be used for a sidebar tracker in your Erin Condren, but I use it in my Hobonichi as like a habit tracker, which is really cool. This workout is from Nicole Hutch Designs. This is from Avenue K Design. These um, scripts are from Kinsey's Creations as well as the Coffee Monday. These really dainty cursive scripts are from Honey Inked. This one is from Nettie Designs. And again, I don't mind mixing gold and rose gold together. This is from Tassel Planner as well as this rose gold bow. And this coffee cup is from GP Sticker Studios. You guys know that these are emojis from the Coffee Monsters Co. And this was from an oops bag from Simply Watercolor Co. So um, I think that's it. And then you guys know that this washi is from Simply Gilded. So that's pretty much it. I'm so sorry that this was a pretty bare plan with me. It is a pre-plan, so it's going to be that way until I fill it out throughout the week. So I appreciate you guys being understanding of that. And I just love the rose gold. She does an amazing job and her foiling is so good, um, especially with these like really tiny bows. Like she does such a great job. So I'm so excited to be doing this collab with Joe, and I can't wait to see how hers turns out. So be certain to check out both of our collab videos to see how each of us used this kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up, and follow my girl Joe of Ice Cream Joe. Take care, guys. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.